Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here. Today on Simple Solos, we're going to have a look at the intro solo to One by Kirk Hammett and Metallica. Now granted, there are a couple of licks in this one that are maybe a little bit beyond beginner. However, overall, the whole solo is not that difficult to play. Uh, you may need to go over these two or three licks a couple of times to get them nailed down. However, they're not overly difficult, really. Uh, one's a three-note rake and the other one's just a little bit awkward to play. Uh, so with that said, let's get started, shall we? All right, then the intro solo to One by uh, Kirk Hammett and Metallica. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial. We are on a Stratocaster. I don't know if he played this one on a Stratocaster or not, but it's got a nice clean, chimey tone to it, so a Stratocaster kind of works. And uh, so I'm going to run through it first, and then we'll dig in how to play it. And that is how you play that one. So uh, we're soloing in the key of B minor and uh, in two positions mainly. We get in the middle a little bit, but most of it going on here at the second fret position and then an octave higher at the 14th fret position of the B natural minor scale. Most of it going on on the top three strings. Right, two, four, two, three, five, two, three, five, and then up here, 14, 16, 14, 15, 17, 14, 15, 17, right? So it starts here on the second fret of the D string. Gonna hammer on to four, grab the two of the G, drop on to four of the G, full step and release. And let that ring. And then we're into this. So we're going to pull off three off to two of the B string and then drop onto the four of the G and choke that note off. And then you're going to do almost the same thing. You're going to pull off three to two of the uh, B again. This time you're going to roll up to the uh, two of the G, not the four, and choke that note off. And then back to the three of the B again. Pick it twice this time, pull it off to two, and then drop onto the four this time and let it ring. So that's the opening of the solo. And then we're into this. So that lick there. So we're starting here on the 11th fret, going right down the scale basically on the G string. We're going to pull that off to a 9, and then we're going to pull off 9 to 7, and then we're going to pull off 7 to 6, and then 6 to 4. Drop onto the 2 and slide that into 4. However, there's a lot of mutes going on here before each of these pull offs, except for the first one. That one's a straight pull off. Every other one you're going to do a little mute before you do the pull off. And then another mute before you drop onto that two and slide it into four, right? So the mutes are kind of crucial to this uh, to this lick. And then we finish up the first half of the solo with this. So we're sliding into four again of the G. Little hammer on two to three back off to two. All right, hammer on, and then you're going to pick that two back into four again, and then down to two, on to three, pull it off to two, roll up to the uh, two of the G, pick it twice, slide it into four. All right, and that's about the first half of the solo. Mm -hmm. 
now we're jumping an octave higher to the 14th fret position of the B natural minor scale. And we're going to do that little rake. So we're raking down this little triad here. Like I said, this is maybe beyond beginner, you know, doing like little mini sweeps and whatnot. But so we have this little triad here, 16, 15, 14 of the G, B, and the high E. I'm going to rake down that and then drop on to the 19 of the high E, right? And then we're into that lick. So we're going to pull off 17 off to 15, hammer 14 back onto 15, and then you got to roll up to the 15 of the B. So this is a little bit awkward. That little roll. And then we're into this. So we're on the six, seven again here. We're gonna grab that seven, pull it off to six, and then back on to seven. And you're going to pick that note, right? And then you're gonna move it up, do the same thing between seven and nine, and then 11 and nine. And then you finish that little phrase with a slide into 12 pick it twice and release it off to 11. Now this is probably the most difficult part of the entire solo because it's very awkward to play. So uh, the beginning of it, the, the, the ending of it's not that difficult, but, but this part here. Right. So uh, what we're doing is we're grabbing the uh, 14th fret of the A string. We're going 12 of the D down to 11 of the G. And then you're going 12, 14 of the G. Right. And then you're going to start it the same way. And when you get to the uh, 12 of the G this time, you're not going to go on to 14. You're going to roll down to the 12 of the B. Now you're going to start it a third time at least down to this point here, the 11 of the G, and then you're gonna drop on to the 12 of the B, not the 12 of the G. And then we're gonna start riding up the B string. We're gonna drop on to the 14, then the 15, then the 17. And then you back it up to the 15, back off to the 14. When you get to that 14, you're going to go up here to the 16 of the G, back to the 14 for a double hit. Drop back onto the 15, and then finish the solo on the 16 of the G. So. And that's the second half of the solo and from the rake. And from the top. And there you have it. That is how you play the intro solo to one by Kirk Hammett and Metallica. Certainly hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button right down there somewhere. Maybe uh, drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, and we will see you next time. Cheers.